Darcy Lacrube, we're here with Android Authority. I'm here with a very kind gentleman named Gil Friedlander. He's the co-founder and CEO of Talkon, which has some very cool technology that has to do with SAR and other forms of measurement. Uh, I'll let you elaborate a little further, but I want Perfect. to say thank you very much for your time today, sir. It's a pleasure, Darcy. Right, thank you. Great being here. Yes, sir. Uh, so, a bit about technology. Yes, so, sir. Talkon is a mobile application. It's an Android app that you can download for free mm -hmm. for your Android phone. Once you download it, it runs in the background and detects when mobile radiation from your own phone spikes during a call. Once we detect these spikes, we will provide you vibration or subtle alerts during a call. And if you look for a moment at the screen, you will get a tailored suggestion telling you how to talk on, continue the call, and avoid that radiation. And it could be changing your locations, moving a few feet aside. Yeah, yeah. It could reduce dramatically the exposure to radiation, connect an earpiece, a Bluetooth, or use the speaker, so distancing the phone from their head. Very simple suggestions that allow you to avoid these radiation peaks. And so you mentioned that these only really occur you know, at specific intervals, and if you sort of use the best practices type of you know, thing, then uh, you can avoid the pitfalls of overexposing yourself to radiation. It's very true, so yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's important to say that from our statistics, about 90% of the time, your phone emits low signals and so very low radiation. Okay, about five or 10% of the time, there are these peaks, yes. specifically when you're in an elevator or in a basement, okay. sometimes within a car or a train. Interesting. Uh, we uh, let you know and alert you when these radiation peaks occur during yeah. a call. Uh, we also see that if we are able to save you one minute of uh, high radiation during a call, yeah. it's equivalent to five hours of exposure of low radiation. That's a lot of radiation. So if we let you know when it happens and save you that short terms, it's very dramatic on your radiation absorption. And so I, I saw on your blog that you compiled a listing essentially of the, the top 10 worst offenders in terms of SAR. Yeah. What does SAR stand for? And does the FCC or any governing bodies, do they have consumers sort of bodies at best heart? As in, do they do the testing in their labs to determine a phone is not safe for sale? Or? So the FCC set a standard for the maximum radiation absorption yeah. that is allowed from a phone. It's called SAR, it stands for Specific Absorption Rate. Okay. The maximum level is 1.6 watts to kilogram. Okay. If a manufacturer does not comply with that uh, uh, threshold, he could not uh, market his uh, phone. Good, good. What users are not aware that phones differ dramatically in their maximum level of SAR. Okay. So you can buy a low emitting phone or a high emitting phone. On average, the old Blackberries are the highest emitting phones with this SAR, which is almost 1.55. It's almost the max. Really almost, yeah. The iPhone is kind of average, okay. around one. Yeah. The Samsung Androids are very low, around yeah, that's 0 0.3. That's very low. So if this is something that you're concerned with or you want to take some precautionary measures, go and purchase a low phone SAR. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, and how long has Talkon been around for? And how many uh, app downloads and users do you have? So Talkon has been around over three and a half years. Okay. Uh, we have, with our new version, over a million downloads, oh, and it's great. going very, very fast. Yes. Uh, uh, good retention and great feedback from the users. We're, I think, 4.4 stars on the Android market. Yeah, and, no, it's very good ranking. Yeah. So what, uh, what carriers uh, emit the greatest amount of radi radiation per capita in the world? If you will. What, what carriers or handset manufacturers? Excuse me, handset manufacturers. Uh, so, so the highest ones are, are BlackBerry, yeah. uh, Apple is kind of the average, yes. and Samsung are, are one of the lower ones. Did you have any there. time uh, to test the, the Z10 yet? Uh, uh, we didn't test it yet, but we do, see, we do know the official test results yeah. of their uh, uh, phone, and they're doing a much better job now in reducing their SAR emissions. Excellent, okay. Yeah. So, now you mentioned uh, when we were talking before the WHO, mm -hmm. you know, which is really a very respected, you know, governing body. Obviously, is this uh, something that they're taking to heart and taking seriously? The proliferation of mobile devices is is almost absurd. Yeah. So you know, technology is great, yeah. and the yeah. value that mobile phone is bringing us is is uh, really amazing. Yeah. We would never want to forego our phones or or, no. or, or uh, <laughs> let them not. go. Uh, and it's important to say that science is not conclusive yet about the health impacts of mobile radiation. Okay, not conclusive. With that said, many uh, research bodies are saying that there is issue, that it uh, may cause cancer, lower uh, sperm count for males, uh, cognitive issues. Wow. 
The World Health Organization, which is the most reputable body in this uh, area, last year classified non-ionizing radiation that mobile phone emit as a possible carcinogen. Yes. yes now, it's not definitive yet, but uh, it, it means that more research needs to be undertaken, okay. and it does suggest to uh, undertake precautionary measures, so yes. to try to minimize mobile radiation uh, as much as possible. Talkon is a great tool that provides you alerts and very simple tools of how to minimize that radiation. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, yeah. obviously, technology is not going anywhere, so we need to yeah. learn how to, to grow with it and to deal with it. And uh, the fact that you're working towards this end, you know, it mm -hmm. almost feels like uh, you're the protector of consumers of mobile technology in a sort we of way. We hope to see ourselves in yeah. that way. Well, I yeah. very much do, and that's why <laughs> I wanted to say thank you very much for your time today. Perfect, Darcy. We'll stay in touch. And I really appreciate your time, Thanks Mr. Freelander. It was a pleasure. Let's talk on here. Check out the Android app Thank if you. you care about radiation in your head or the best practices that you can uh, employ. Thank you very much, guys. This is Android Authority here live on the ground at Mobile World Congress, Barcelona. Thank you.